How's it going guys? We're back with another Skyrim skill series episode and today is going to be two-handed. So the first thing you want to do is come over to the Guardian Stones and get the Warrior Stone so that our two-handed can progress 20% faster. Come here, click this, and boom. Now the first thing I'm going to be doing is showing each of the three two-handed weapons in each category. If you want to get your smithing up, I have a video for that on my channel. This is the Iron Greatsword and then the Iron Battle Axe and then the iron warhammer and it's the same varieties of those three in each category so moving from the basic iron up to the steel smithing we have the steel greatsword and then the steel battle axe and the steel warhammer and then moving up from steel onto dwarven this is the dwarven greatsword dwarven battle axe and Dwarven Warhammer. And then moving up to the Elven Smithing category, we have the Elven Greatsword, the Elven Battle Axe, and the Elven Warhammer. And then moving past Dwarven onto Orcish, Orcish Greatsword, Orcish Battle Axe, and again, you probably guessed it, the Orcish Warhammer. And then on the other side we have Advanced Armors and with the Dragonborn DLC you get Nordic Weapons. This is the Nordic Greatsword. I've been looking for you. Shut up! Looks like that's it. Trying to make a video here. Goddamn couriers, am I right? And then the Nordic Battle Axe and the Nordic Great Hammer. And then moving from Advanced Armors to Glass Smithing. We have the glass greatsword, absolutely beautiful. Glass battle axe. And the glass warhammer again. And then moving from orcish to ebony. Got the ebony sword, kind of looks like a samurai sword. Ebony battle axe. Ebony warhammer. Then moving from ebony to daedric. That's the greatsword. Battle axe and the Warhammer. And then after Daedric is the Dragon Bone Weapons and Armor. This is the Dragon Bone Greatsword. That's my favorite looking greatsword. Then the Battle Axe. And last but not least, the Warhammer. Okay guys, now for this next part, we're gonna come over here to South Shriekwind Basin. And this is to get the first out of three Elemental Fury Shouts because you need that for every one-handed and two-handed build and it also makes boosting two-handed go much faster so grab the first word boom and then after that we're headed over here to dragon tooth crater for the second word come grab this and then after that we're headed over here to the statue of meridia just outside of solitude for the third and final shout Grab that. And then after that, hopefully you have three dragon souls that you can slap in there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now the quickest way to boost your two-handed is to attack Shadowmere. So you're going to want to come to Windhelm and I'm just showing how to start the Brotherhood questline. And you're just going to want to come over here, come into this house, and talk to this boy, and he will set you on the path to finding Shadowmere. Sweet mother, sweet mother, thank you. You've come at last! I knew you! And then you're going to want to be on the quest, The Cure for Madness, on the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid will talk to you and give you Shadowmere. And once you acquire Shadowmere, you're going to give him the beating of his life, and get your skills up. I'm just using an iron warhammer. Any warhammer will do. I recommend you do use a warhammer because it does the most damage. You can bring it to the grindstone, make it do a little bit more damage, progress it a little bit faster. And as you can see, I have almost no perks in here. Barbarian will make it do more damage and progress faster. So after you do that, equip Elemental Fury and just give it to Shadow Mirror. Sorry, buddy. I promise it won't be forever. You're such a good boy. 
And then just keep grinding that, keep smacking away, and as you can, put perks into a Barbarian, do it, just so you do more damage and it progresses quicker. And, yeah, so we got it to 70, I'm just gonna be throwing some perks in here. Barbarian to make it do more damage. And then, we're gonna head up here to Champion Stand, so that our power attacks with two-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina, deep wounds, so that attacks with great swords have a better chance of critical, skull crusher, so that attacks with warhammers ignore armor. And then just over here, limb splitter, so that our battle axes cause bleeding damage. And then over here, great critical charge, so that you can sprint and do a power attack for double the damage. That's what it looks like. Haha, -ha, gotcha, buddy. And then over here, Devastating Blow. So standing power attacks do 25% more bonus damage and have a chance to decapitate. And even if it is a Warhammer, you will cut their heads off like it is a precision sword. And then just up here, we have Sweep. And when you move sideways, you can hit all targets in front of you. And that's what this is. Definitely useful for when you get crowds all around you. And then we're headed over here to Windhelm for the expert level 75 skill trainer. And this guy can train you from anywhere up to 75. He can be found walking around the markets most of the time. And pay for that. You don't have to do this, guys. It's just the quick way. You can just abuse Shadow Mirror, no problem. And if you do it this way, it will set you back 11,000 gold. And once it's at 75... Just keep giving it to our buddy until we get it to 85. And once it's at 85, we're just going to throw some more perks in here. The last of Barbarian. A perk, I guess I should have said. And now we're headed over here to Whiterun for the Master Trainer. So you're going to want to come into the Companions Guild. Make your way all the way to the basement and wake Vilkus up from his sleep. Vilkus, I don't care that it's 3 in the morning. Get out of bed. I need some training. And he can train you from 85 to 90. And upside with this guy is he can be your follower. And it will cost you 22,000 to get it from uh, 85 to 90. But you can ask him to follow you and then go into his inventory. And just take that money right back. Thanks, buddy. That's what friends are for. Okay, Shadow Mirror, I promise, buddy, this is the last time you're going to want to get your two-handed up to 95. And now that it's at 95, we are going to be getting some skill books. First, you want to come over here to Bleak Wind Bluff. And this is for the first out of five two-handed skill books. Come up into this tower. And just right here by this pile of rocks. Boom. And then after that, we're headed over here to an unnamed location near the College of Winterhold. And there's going to be this Shrine of Talos. And just right here. And next, we're headed over here to Whiterun. And there are two books here, actually. So first, you're going to want to come over here, just beside the Hall of the Dead, into this house. You will have to pick the lock. And just in the bedroom on the left side, Right on this bookshelf. And then for the fourth book, you're going to want to come into the Companions Guild and make your way to the very far basement and in the far room at the end, just on the table here, is the fourth book. And then for the fifth and final skill book, you're going to want to come over here to Fulcreath and Here's the main hold, and we are going for the guards barracks just off to the side here. Come inside here, make your way up to the second floor, and just on this chest, boom. Two-handed, 100. And now we're just going to be throwing the last of the perks in the two-handed tree. The last of limb splitter. Deep Wounds and Skull Crusher, but I recommend, guys, between those three perks, you choose what you want between Great Swords, Warhammers, and Axes. And for the final perk, War Master, backwards at uh, power attacks have a 25% chance to paralyze, which is what this is. It's relatively useless, and I honestly never use it. It's unfortunate, but now you know. 
Okay, guys, now we're coming over here to Iron Bind Burrow, and this is for our first unique two handed weapon. You're going to want to come over here, make your way all the way back through the tomb, and in the very last room, you will find this throne and this guy. And the Battle Axe of Fiery Souls is right here. This is a unique axe because the enchantment is unique and it can be disenchanted. So, fills the soul gem and can burn target. Okay, guys, now for this next one, you have to be on the quest Glory of the Dead for the Companions Guild, and that is how you get Wuthrad. And this is a unique weapon because it does more damage against elves, but it's an effect, not an enchantment. So for this particular axe, you can use Elemental Fury on. So it, you know, it can't be refined at a grindstone, which is a little unfortunate, but if you have your two-handed up, then honestly, it's still a great weapon no matter what. Especially with Elemental Fury in the mix. Okay, next we're coming over here to Ravenrock on the Island of Solstime, and this is for my favorite great sword in the game. You're going to want to come over here inside the mine, talk to the old man, get the quest, make your way all the way down to the very bottom, and when it seems like you're at a dead end, you're going to come into this little opening... Find this room, and just at the very bottom, we get the Blood Skull Blade. It's an awesome weapon because it releases an energy blast when you do a power attack, and it does 30 damage. So, this sword is the best early on, if you get it early, because the effect does not level scale. So when you move sideways, you shoot out a horizontal beam of energy, and when you move forwards, it's a vertical beam of energy. Super awesome, and this weapon can be refined at a grindstone, unlike most unique two-handed weapons. So, totally beautiful, best-looking greatsword in the game, in my opinion, and a must-have. Okay, now we're coming over here to Fort Frost Moth, and this is for a unique Warhammer. You're going to want to come in here, make your way all the way down. You will find this little satchel, grab the key that's inside of it, and then you can fight this guy. This general and he has the weapon the champions cudgel which is a unique amazing weapon that can be disenchanted for the chaos enchantment which is the best enchantment in the game to have on any weapon in my opinion and just a totally beautiful weapon it's a damn shame every time I disenchant this and this is what it looks like it's my favorite looking warhammer in the game super cool and for this next one, guys, you have to have completed the quest Dragon Rising and be level 20. And this is actually one of the easiest Daedric artifacts to get in the whole game. This is for the Ebony Blade. You're going to want to come to Whiterun, come inside this bar, and talk to the bartender. Ask her if she's heard any rumors. And it may take you a couple tries, you know, but she will give this quest to you. She tells you to go and talk to the Jarl about his lunatic son. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child you could speak to him draw out the truth i would be immensely grateful the whispering door another wander so the disgusting pig sent you to bother me one day i'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone <laughs> this castle is old lots of places nobody's been in a long while and the whispering lady she won't tell me her name in the basement Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. And then after you talk to that little kid, he'll just send you to go down here. Where you talk to the door. Ooh. At last, the dark child knows of what I speak. Well, then why did he send me to you? Guide your path. Christ. I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgru and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. And then, pretty plain and simple, guys. Just come over here in front of the court wizard, quick save, and then just grab this key. It took me like 30 tries, so be sure to quick save.
and then you just got to come in here and grab the ebony blade also best to grab this right at level 20 because it won't scale And this blade will do more damage for every friendly follower that you kill, and I believe that it maxes out, that effect maxes out once you've killed 10 followers. This cannot be refined at a grindstone, so killing followers is the only way to make it do more damage. So, and also it absorbs health. And also, I believe that it has the longest range out of any sword in the game. So, absorbs health, super long range, awesome. What's your specialty in Skyrim? Well, me, I'm great at decapitating old women who crouch in fear. And now we're headed over here to Largashbur. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and yeah, so you're gonna just wanna come up here, there's gonna be some giants, and you're gonna kill the giants and talk to this girl. She's gonna ask you to get some troll fat and a daedra heart. And then once you have those, turn them in. And talk to Malakath. Okay, and then he's just going to send you over here, and you just got to wipe out all the giants and take the leader's club while Yamars hides in fear in the other part of the cave. No match. Alright. And at this point, you will be betrayed and then slaughter this little guy with no mercy. Haha! You are nothing. Yamars was a fool, always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. And then after that, go back to the you stronghold. That hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. And then after that, you will get the unique great hammer, Volendrung. And I believe this is the Great Hammer that does the most damage out of all the unique Great Hammers in the game. Also absorbs points of stamina and it can be refined at a grindstone to top everything off. Other than something you could make, I believe this is the best two-handed weapon in the game. If I'm not mistaken. Okay guys, now we're going to be enhancing the things we've gotten this far. So on some gauntlets, a chest piece, a necklace, and a ring, you want weapons and armor can be improved 25% more. And then also, to top it off a little more, you can have a Fortify Smithing Potion, drink that, and while wearing that armor set, we're going to enhance things. Blood Skull Blade and Volendrung are the only uniques we can enhance, and the rest, these are my favorite two-handed weapons. And if I'm going to make the best two-handed weapon, it would be one of the Dragonbone or Daedric weapons. And, okay, so we're going to be disenchanting the Champion's Cudgel and the Axe of Fiery Soul Traps, and if your enchanting is at 100 and you can have two effects... Then we can put both of those effects on one weapon and again i would make it one of these six it comes down to your personal preference but for me i definitely love the daedra greatsword because of the swing speed and extra critical damage so i would do either chaos damage and paralyze or i would do chaos damage and fiery soul trap for the best two-handed weapon that you could make and then to enhance things a little bit further, I'm going to be showing a two-handed outfit that I made. So on gauntlets, two-handed do 40% more damage, and lockpicking on boots, two-handed do 40% more damage, and stamina regens faster on the chest piece, stamina, extra stamina and stamina regen, and then on the ring, again, two-handed and stamina, and then on the necklace, again, two-handed and stamina. And that makes all these weapons do much more damage with the fortify two-handed. Like, look at this, Daedric weapon's almost at 400. And then my greatsword, 50% chance of each element, also does soul trap and burns target for extra fire damage. The Daedric weapons, just insane damage. Dragonbone also over 400, and yeah, Ebony Blade not the greatest, but Volendrung 300, and Wuthrod even without being refined 195. So that pretty much sums it up for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you like the content, please consider donating to me on Patreon. Got lots coming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.